Okay, I want to create a series talking about some of the things that you need to know when you're getting started developing themes and plugins for WordPress. So this is very beginner. Um, if you've done anything with WordPress before, this is probably not for you. But this is just kind of giving an overview of how to think about how you're working with WordPress. So today we're going to look at the file system and a few things maybe about the theme and then we'll kind of go from there and we'll con get continually a little more advanced as we go. Uh, the first thing you want to know is when you're working with WordPress, um, everything happens in the WP content folder and pretty much everything happens in the plugins or the themes folders uh, depending on what you're wanting to do. Most people are going to be working in themes. If you're part feeling particularly froggy, you might be working in plugins. Um, so the first thing most people want to understand is, okay, I'm trying to develop my own theme or maybe I'm trying to modify an existing theme, and so I need to be able to understand what's going on. And so let's say that this is a theme that you're working with. Uh, this is a very simple stripped-down theme, and there's a few things that are expected whenever you have a WordPress theme. The first thing is that you always have a file named style.css, and it's going to have some information at the top, <clears throat> and this file is a certain format um, that's going to give the name of the theme, um, where the developer's URL, description of it, name, things like that. This is expected to always be in the comments at the very top of the style.css. And if you try to install a theme without that, it's going to fail. When you do install it, it's going to show up in the admin panel. It's going to show you all those, um, all that information, you know, nicely printed out. So that's the first thing that's expected. Even if you don't have any styles in that. If you're going to you know, have a different file somewhere else that has your CSS in it that's going to be loaded, um, you still have to have, at the very minimum, this stuff at the very top. So remember that. And then the other thing that's pretty much required is to have an index.php file. That's going to be your default template file. Now WordPress allows you to install a lot of different um, or to create a number of different templates, you know, for different things, maybe a category page template or, you know, page templates, post templates. Uh, you can have all sorts of different types of templates to change how your content is displayed across the website. But if there aren't any, it's everything's going to default back to index.php. So this is a very, very simple theme. It's got index.php. Um, it goes into, um, there's a header and we'll look at that in a second. Get header is basically loading the header.php file. Um, get footer is loading the footer.php file. Those are fairly standard that you'll find in templates since your header and footer rarely change or rarely should change on a website. Um, this get template part loop here is going to load the loop.php and that's pr a fairly important file. So the loop.php is going to load all of your content. Right, so you might be looping through and displaying a list of uh, posts if it's a blog, or it might be displaying a single post or a single page. Whatever the case is, may be, you're going to be using the loop um, to display that. And then, of course, there's a little extra stuff in here um, showing a sidebar. So I'm checking to see if a sidebar is active. If it is, then I'm going to display it. We'll look at stuff like that more in depth in the future, um, but that is your uh, basic template file. Your header.php file is um, fairly straightforward. This is where you start seeing more HTML, and you could have as much HTML anywhere you want to. Um, this is just how this one's set up. And you'll start noticing that really it's just plain old JavaScript and HTML, just like you'd use for a static um, a website. If you were building it without any CMS, you could put whatever you want to in here, basically. The main things that are required is that you have a WP head. This is going to allow themes and, or not themes, but plugins and things like that to connect into your template. Maybe it needs to load uh, JavaScript files or CSS or something like that, and it's going to use that to do it. So that's required. Um, there's lots of other things we'll look at more in depth that you could include in there, but you'll also notice in the footer.php that there's a corresponding a WP footer. And that's another place that um, plugins can hook into to modify whatever they need to to make that particular feature. Maybe it's a slideshow plugin or something like that to be able to load JavaScript and CSS to make that work on your site. So we'll get into a little more in depth in the next video, but that's the general overview of how a theme is set up and the general folder structure for your WordPress site.